So you really didn't think that AMD was only going to release two different SKUs on the Ryzen Threadripper lineup, right? Well, if you did, then you were wrong. But if you didn't think there was only going to be two, you were right. I guess you only have two options in that one. Either way, apparently other than the 1950X and the 1920X, there are going to be four additional SKUs. Now this is in an article that was accidentally leaked out by Hot Hardware. Um, we will be reserving this video for once the Hot Hardware article goes live. So once that happens, we'll be putting this video up. So if you see it now then, thank you guys over at Hot Hardware for giving us a heads up on this one. So uh, you've got the 1950X, that's the 16 core 32 thread running at 3.4 base with a 4 gigahertz turbo coming in at $999. Then you have the 1920X with 12 cores, 24 threads come with a 2 point with a 3.5 gigahertz base and a 4 gigahertz turbo coming in at $799. And then coming in at the entry level, or what we'd rather assume is going to be the entry level at this point, for the Ryzen Threadripper lineup is the 8 core 16 thread. That's a 3.8 gigahertz base with a 4 gigahertz turbo, the 1900X. Now that comes in at $549. So that gets you in the huge double CPU package of the TR2 socket and quad channel memory and all 64 lane PCI Express lanes for 550 bucks. That's actually quite a quite a value if multi GPU is what you're into or even multi card use so you want to throw in several things other than just graphics cards so like uh, capture devices, audio devices, what have you so for heavy content creation situations that is actually quite nice to see so that gets you five hundred and fifty dollars for an eight core that's fifty dollars over the eighteen hundred x i do know it's a good bit over the seventeen hundred which is you know three hundred thirty and to three hundred depending on where you find it at but it's nice to see amd bringing uh, more options there so evidently the Pre-orders for the 1950X and the 1920X begin on July 31st. That's the day following the actual recording of this video that we're doing right now. They will begin shipping on August 10th. So those two SKUs will ship August 10th. Pre-orders on the 31st. Now, again, with most things, it's hard to recommend pre-ordering hardware until we actually see it in, in action and see uh, reviews come through and see just where it stands. But I think we can all agree that Ryzen Threadripper is going to be pretty impressive for the price even beforehand, just what we know off of Ryzen as well as uh, core thread counts and such. Now the Ryzen Threadripper 1900X, the 8 core 16 thread variant, will be available beginning August 31st, so one month from today or July 31st. So it will have a little bit of a delay. It will be coming three weeks behind the shipping date for the 16 and 12 core, which makes sense. They don't want to completely cannibalize themselves, but it's interesting to see that as well as some of the performance comparison metrics that they've got that they talk about is the 1950X versus the 7900X from Intel showing you know 60% more cores and 68% more cache with the same DDR4 channels and 36% higher quantity of lanes and at an even price point. And then it goes all the way down to the 1900X versus the 7820X say, showing they have the same number of cores. The, the, the 1900X has a little bit more cache same on the memory controllers but look at that 114% more PCI Express lanes so that's uh, that's kind of a big you know knock on the knee there and it comes in at eight percent lower price than the 7820x but uh, i want to thank the guys over at hot hardware for accidentally leaking this one out uh, <laughs> but you know like i said you when this article this video goes live it's after they've reposted their article and if you want to keep up with more news as we get it uh this has been keith with wccf tech tv and we'll catch you in the next video